agenda, probably when you really start to wake up, with the approval of our new organic waste processing facility, your coffee grounds will soon be turned into compost for your garden and lawns. In all, the city recycles more than 35,000 tons of waste annually, generating almost 2.9 million in sales in 2008. It's time for a walk. You're not getting out of the house without doing that. <laughs>
we mess it up, we have clean coffee at the back that you can take it there on clean one home. Sometimes I hear, um, but what is city council, what, what has the city actually done in this term? Well, this is it. It's here in front of you. It summarizes our priorities for the term, our progress over the last three years on those priorities, and what remains to do in 2010. So moving on from the strategy, um, the customer focus perspective on a company scorecard translates to citizen service in a municipal context. At the City of Wall, this is something that we're taking very seriously. We are planning for the implementation of our new customer service strategy, setting targets and measuring citizen satisfaction. Things like, how, how do we go the extra mile? What is the timeliness, the perception of the timeliness of our service? And we've made some notable strides in the past year to improve our service. Our new City Hall has improved customer service by meets and bounds. No longer do citizens need to figure out which of five locations to visit to conduct city business. Our central service well counter offers 50 services from this location. And remarkably, and I think it surprised a lot of us bringing together all of these offices in one location, we serve 4,000 residents every month through this service counter. We also launched a new online service to apply for building permits, track the status of approvals, and request inspections. This offers simple 24-hour access to building permit service. In creating building services online, the city enlisted three local home builders to participate in a pilot project. And I'd like to recognize them and thank them for their assistance this morning. In April of 2009, representatives from Ashton Ridge Homes Fusion homes and reach heritage homes were trained to use the online features, and in doing so, they helped us move through the bugs in the system before its full launch. We are also embracing new ways to communicate with citizens using social media, like this one. Thousands of citizens have su subscribed to our regular city updates through e news, Twitter, and Facebook, and many visit my blog and comment on what's happening. along with more traditional print and media formats, will be part of a major communications effort to support the 29th construction season, which is going to be one of the busiest in recent memories. If you think it's busy this year, it's going to be significantly busier next year. It's going to be busy because we were extremely successful in our applications for federal and provincial infrastructure funding, receiving nearly $48 million. That success was a team effort from Council approving its capital budget early in anticipation of a proposal call, to staff being ready to submit proposals within a two-week deadline, and to our local federal and provincial representatives, Mayor MP Frank Valeria here today, who were very strong advocates for us at those levels of government. But so we're all cursing the roads that are closed um, next year. Remember, thanks to this funding, Guelph is getting crucial infrastructure for one third of the price. And so that's great value. The next category on the balance scorecard is learning and growth. <coughs> the city recognizes that a skilled, well trained, and engaged workforce is the foundation of our success. That's why we have a people's practices strategy to ensure we're an employer of choice in our community. Our strategy is achieving some tangible results. For example, new approaches to ensure a safe workplace have produced a 16% reduction in first aid incidents and a 33% reduction in medical aid incidents 